All right, we are going to stay on the topic of gender. This year, the Disinformation Project reported a surge in online hate towards rainbow communities that was so extreme, it was described as genocidal. Most of it has been directed at the trans community, while a lot of the political conversation has been focused on bathrooms. Lee, your party leader, Winston Peters, wants a new law banning anyone from accessing a public bathroom or changing room designed for the opposite sex use. According to the Williams Institute, trans people are four times more likely than cisgender people to be victims of violent crime, and trans and non-binary teenagers face a higher risk of sexual assault in schools that prevent them from using bathrooms consistent with their gender identity, according to another study. So where is your evidence that this is a safety issue? Well, there is evidence of, you know, girls... I mean, we've got Lorraine Moller, one of the great Olympians of New Zealand, who's come out and endorsed New Zealand first because of our stance on speaking up for women, standing up for women's rights, women's spaces. So what's happening is, and, and I didn't know this until I heard Lorraine tell me this, she said she's championed her whole life to get women into sports. Now you've got biological men participating in female sports, blowing them away in their changing spaces. And what it's doing is it's discouraging women from actually participating now into sports. Though, on the topic of public bathrooms, yes. where is your evidence? There's studies all over. We have people, we have people basically saying to us, hey, I was assaulted in a bathroom by a, uh, a biological male. This is wrong. And, you know, you have, you have biological men getting changed in women's spaces. So and, it's, have, and it's scaring women. So you and have anecdotal everyone, evidence, but you no, don't have... I don't have the statistics in front of you, you right now, that you... but it, it's a true thing. It's a real thing. We're not on another planet. There are a lot of people concerned with this, not just in New Zealand, all over the world. How? And we want to stand up for women. We want to stand up for women's spaces. We want to make sure everyone's safe. With your bathroom policy, particularly at schools, how are you going to enforce it? Are you going to get teachers to, what, do genital checks at the door? or? What a stupid question. No, I, I think... Then, then I think how? That's, that's ridiculous. And, you how, know, making you a mockery out how of will, this and women's spaces it? is just uncalled for. And the, the pendulum's gone so far to the radical left, you think this is normal. This is not normal. Um, how all we're will doing you is sticking your up for policy? women. If you want a new law, how are you going to enforce it? We're not In schools? Have, look, bathrooms are already unisex male and female, right? We're just going to say, hey, we're not going to accept this because there are people on the outliers that aren't just you know, really nice people. They do this for a reason. All right, Chloe, what's your response to that? I just, if you want to talk about the actual stats and the actual evidence and the actual data, what we know full well is that our trans and non-binary and gender minority whanau are disproportionately represented in mental ill health, addiction and suicide statistics. Yes, and we don't want to encourage... And, mate, it's driven by rhetoric from the likes of your party. No, it's not. And I expect... It's driven, it's driven by rhetoric by your party, which is encouraging it in young children. That's why okay. we want to remove it from schools. Okay. More, this kind more of kids stuff. now are transgendering or, or transitioning <laughs> than ever before. And the gays because came out the closet only no, like 40 odd years ago or something? No, no, like, no, just take a second. There's actually a lot take of lesbians and a lot of gays that are actually against... Are you talking on behalf of the women and the lesbos now? Because let me have a moment, please. No, no, no. All right. I was, I was invited to talk at a speaking event. No, I was event. just invited to when talk. When everybody talks <laughs> at once, it feels too hectic. So, yeah. Chloe, if you can finish your point, and then I know, Hannah, that you had your hand up, so we'll go to problem. you after... Chloe. Well, speaking on behalf of the woke lesbos, what I do have to say <laughs> no, is that ultimately, I well, no, I did. Uh, yes, you did. Because the yes, exactly, and the rhetoric and the fear mongering behind the likes of what you and your party are putting forward are harming people in our communities because it is not evidence based. And ultimately, I think yeah, that there is a responsibility is. for political leaders to turn down the temperature on this yeah. and to take responsibility for the consequences yes. of their rhetoric, which are hurting people in our schools. communities. Little kids don't need mate, to be exposed mate, to pay attention right, I would like to the actual evidence here. That Listen is the to evidence. the academics. I'm going to smash the buzzer. You. You. If we talk over here. each other, I'm going to be genuinely agree to disagree. I think it's important that people, you know... I'm not going to deny people's existence, I'm sorry. All right, I, That's the bottom line. We don't deny anyone's existence.
we don't deny anyone's existence, and we're actually very empathetic towards people that are going I'd through I'd like it. to hear from Hannah on this. I am so sorry to our takatapui whanau that have to be used as a political football for gaining voters, for gaining votes. That is exactly. absolutely... Ab that's no. No, 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 no. Party, party. You do not interject into my corridor. You had your time, you don't interject into my corridor. But you're not saying the truth. I will speak my truth, you speak your truth. Oh, don't you come into my court at all. Yeah. Don't you come right, We'd like to hear from Hannah, and if we're talking over each other, I'm going to start slamming the buzzer. Sure. It's parties like ACT and New Zealand First who have formed this absolute disgusting political fear on our young people who are brown, who are takatapui, who are indigenous, who are f in fear that they're, because they are Pacific, that they will get bombed from oh. Kai Fawkes. There's just all this different corridor that's going around and you have to keep these people accountable mm. that actually colonialism brought in this idea of putting us into boxes, whether we are uh, male or female. In a Māori context, you are actually ira wahine, ira, ira tāne, which is, but at the end of the day, you are ira tangata, you are mm -hmm. human and you should be treated just like a human should be treated on a marae in our kura, which is the upright respects of human rights. Thank you, Hannah. <laughs> National, I'm going to go to you. Your leader, Christopher Luxon, said that this bathrooms policy is on another planet and that voters care about the cost of living, not bathrooms. But is that just you guys avoiding the issue either way? No, I just don't think that it is. I go into schools every day of the week because it's my portfolio. And I ask them, this question, how do you deal with it? Especially in a primary school where you've got uh, a child who is gender diverse. And the schools say, well, we just deal with it. Mm -hmm. We we have a, either use a staff bathroom or we assign them a bathroom and yep. it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Schools are a good you model know what? for this. It's really not a problem. Mm. Um, and so I just think that it's just something that's a distraction from the really big issues around the economy and cost of living and our enormous debt and how we're going to deal with it. Those are the things that people, as you said, overwhelmingly said tonight about what they wanted to hear about um, because th those are the issues of the day. It's no one in any school I've been to and the whole country has said we've got an issue with bathrooms. Not a single one. Staying on this topic, we've got a question from the audience. Isaac. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I'd like to introduce...